Good evening. Three separate stores got robbed last night, two of them pharmacies, and police say they think one man is behind it all. But as News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields joins us to explain, there are some very obvious differences between last night's incident and the other recent pharmacy robberies. That's right, Mark and Heather. If it seems like we've been doing a lot of these stories lately, you're right, we have. Police say the numbers are slightly up. We've had five pharmacy robberies since the beginning of June. But the guy that we're about to show you pictures of did things a little differently. He didn't take any drugs or medications last night. 12.35 a.m., a man walks into the CVS on East State Boulevard and ends up stealing a bottle of vodka, a container of orange juice, and cash from the register. Four hours later, a man walks into the Walgreens on North Coliseum and takes off with a carton of cigarettes. Not 30 minutes later, the Marathon Station on Coldwater reports a man demanded money and ran away with it and an energy drink. The perpetrator in each of these incidents looks very similar. Enters the store, browses the store as if he's going to make a purchase, approaches the register, and then demands money from the cashier. We reached out to all three companies but only received a comment from Walgreens. A spokesperson there says it invested millions of dollars in high resolution video technology over the last year to upgrade and add cameras to the inside and outside of the stores. Walgreens also invested in training the store employees on how to detect and react to potential robberies. Police say the man did struggle with the cashiers at the Walgreens and he didn't get any money. But despite the witnesses' descriptions, police say the surveillance videos are the key. He made no effort whatsoever to conceal himself. We do believe that someone is going to know this individual, and it's just a matter of time, and we eagerly await the call from someone to identify him. All right, now you've seen him a couple of times. This is the description of the man police say that they are looking for. He is a black male of medium build, about five foot eight to six foot tall. He has a teardrop tattoo under one eye, and he was last seen wearing dark colored pants, white shoes, and a red collared shirt. But you did see that he did change and was later seen in a yellow shirt. If you have any information at all, you're asked to call the Fort Wayne Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live tonight from News Control, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.